Well, um, after I lost my daughter in June, uh, Dr. Luttrell asked to see my husband and I a couple days after we went home. When we went in, um, he just asked how we were doing. He said that he didn't want to put us on any antidepressants. He just wants us to scream, yell, have a you know few glasses of beer, and just enjoy each other and basically learn how we grieve. Once we did that, then we can accept the loss better and it's easier for us to go with our marriage. He didn't want us to lose what we had, which actually opened our eyes. So it actually built on our communication and compromise skills and learning how he grieves helped a lot. So um, after that, he told us that he didn't want to put us on birth control pills. He wanted it to just happen. So we were using condoms because we honestly didn't know if we wanted to have another child just yet. And <laughs> we ended up having our wonderful rainbow baby 11 months later. Uh, the process was extremely hard. I was nervous once I found out to tell my husband. And um, after that, we talked to Dr. Luttrell and Dr. Luttrell had us on a strict schedule by seeing doctors, specialists. Um, he said by 29 to 30 weeks, we would be going to the doctors, um, whether it was a specialist one week and seeing him another. And he actually sat me down with some of the other doctors and told them, listen, if I can't be there for the delivery, I need one of you guys to be there, which made me feel more comfortable. And um, there was one point where I actually slipped and fell while I was pregnant at work and I thought I was gonna lose him. And everybody, Dr. Luttrell, the specialist, um, they did everything for me. And I had a Doppler. They told me how to use the Doppler. And um, going and seeing him on the screen for an ultrasound helped me so much with my anxiety. Um, it is nerve wracking. I, you know, you want to be able to feel him every second of the day. And when he doesn't move, you're panicking. And so you would sit there, chug ice water, you would lay on your left side, you would do all the tricks that the doctors tell you to do. I mean, there was times that I went to Northside and was like, hey, I need you to do an ultrasound and, I, you know, I can't find them on the Doppler. And they did everything for me. And everybody's so excited when you get pregnant with the rainbow baby, but it's, it's a lot harder because um, I was getting nervous because I lost my daughter at 39 weeks from a cord accident. So I hit my ninth month and I was like, I need to be induced. And they were like, okay, the baby's measuring about six pounds, let's induce you at 38 weeks. And I actually had to have an emergency C-section <laughs> after I got induced. And I ended up having the most perfect little rainbow baby. So he'll take a picture and that's his way of grieving. Um, when he looks at Kaysen, he's just like, I wanna be with him so much because he sometimes fills that void that you have. Not completely, but it's just, you get excited because it could have been, you know, that could have been Raylan, you know, crawling at, you know, six months or sitting up at four months. But then you're thinking and you're, and you're just so excited to see him and you're just like, wow, Raylan, look what your little brother's doing. It's even hard to explain how, you, how it feels to lose a child because the grieving never stops. So we actually planted a tree for my daughter, so we watched that grow. And um, we talk about the tree all the time. Um, we actually got a bird feeder to see all the birds to come and visit. And it's really sweet. Um, so on Facebook, there's called um, a group called Rainbows of Atlanta. And it's just a bunch of women talking about their experience. Um, when you have a hard time with your pregnancy with your rainbow baby, when that anniversary is coming up or you're coming to the week that you lost your child. It's, it's so rewarding to see women back each other up and you know, okay, don't worry. 
this is what I did, this is, you know, they give advice and they're just there. And it's amazing because you can post at 4 a.m. and you know that there's gonna be a woman that's going to comment and it's just gonna make you smile. And it's, it's really nice.